All right, good afternoon everyone. I am Samantha from Urban Casual and if you could let me know if you can hear me in that comment section, that would be great. I'm using a new camera today and I just wanna check before I get going too far. And um, sorry, I was listening to some music there at the beginning uh, while I was waiting to start. Um, so yeah, it is Thursday, March 3rd, 2022 and this is the Cochrane Community Events and news broadcast for this week. Um, we have a couple things to update and I will get started in just a moment. Just make sure that everything's working. Mm -hmm. All right. So now before I go too far, I will reiterate um, that if you miss something I say and you want more information about that event, feel free to um, check out urbancasual.ca uh, for all of the details there with that. And I'm just gonna adjust something for a minute because I think it's a little bit low. Yeah. There we go. All right. Just waiting for it to catch up here. Perfect. All right. So let's get started. Now we're going to talk about something that happened last week. We were out for, well, there was 200 people, I think they said, were out for the Cochrane um, coldest night of the year walk. And that was down at Riverfront Park on Saturday afternoon. Um, it was a great day for a walk. And lots, of, like I said, there was lots of people out. We raised $40,000 uh, cumulatively for our community for the hurt, the hungry and the homeless. So I uh, hit up to my uh, teammates here. We uh, raised some money ourselves and had a good time out in a walk. Um, but it was a great day for our fundraising and um, supporting our community. So thank you to Helping Hands of Cochrane for organizing that and we look forward to um, participating again next year. Now on sa Sunday afternoon, I popped over to the Cochrane Arena and I went to check out the uh, Cochrane Generals Game 7 of the HGHL um, Round 2 series. They were playing the Rocky Rams and it was a great game. It was a great game to be in attendance for. Uh, they won 6-1 and they moved into round three, which is starting tonight at the Cochrane Arena. Game one against the Red Deer Vipers. That will begin the North Final. So if you like hockey, um, it doesn't cost too much money at all. And it, it was a really nice facility. So I had a great time. It was a really great game. And congratulations to the Cochrane Generals on their fine win. All right, that was great. But tonight is game one. And they will be back again on Sunday with game three starting at 5.30. Um, but stay tuned for more as they get through the series on how they're doing about that. Now tomorrow, uh, the 4th of March, is the first Friday of the month. So every month, the first Friday, we have Open Corner at the Corner Co-working. Now if you haven't met Mark and the gang at the Corner Co-working space, this is a great chance to get in there and do that. Um, you can check out the space, see their facilities and what they have to offer. Um, they've, they've got three locations for you to choose from now and they also have some warehousing um, uh, uh, opportunities as well. They've kind of branched from co-working into some warehouse space. So if you are a business that needs to store something um, or you want a little place to work out of with your manufacturing business, check out Marketing for that too. Corner co-working. Now that runs from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. and uh, you just pop over to Railway Street for that. Later on Friday night, we have the venue. They're back with their live music. So this Friday, they have Mike McKenzie in the house. Um, Mike will be playing alone on um, Friday night. And then Saturday, it'll be a bit of the UFC 272 game and Mike McKenzie uh, into the night. Um, so Saturday will also be fun. Two nights of live music plus that fight. And heading into, let's see, um, later on on Saturday, so actually 
the venue is tonight, 845 Mike McKenzie on Friday night, sorry. Um, Saturday, we'll start off with what we have going on in the morning. It starts out with a two-day market. Um, this market happens every weekend over at Lucky Penny Pizza, and it is called The Other Market, and it runs from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Now, later on this evening, I was saying this is a ticketed event, um, and it's usually a pretty hot one, so you might want to get on this right away in case they don't have any uh, tickets left. But I didn't see that it was sold out, so I feel like you can still get in on this event. Super fun if you've never been to a Dueling Pianos, and it's at the Legion, of course, so a fine facility in our town to uh, support. Um, so tickets for that one on Saturday night, so reach out to them right away if you would like to see those dueling pianos. And yes, back later on Saturday evening at the venue, we have that UFC fight as well as Mike McKenzie. Now heading into Sunday, we have the second day of the other market, as well as game three of the Cochrane Generals at the Cochrane Arena starting at 530. So if you don't get to check them out tonight, um, definitely uh, go check out those Cochrane Generals playing the Red Deer Vipers on Sunday. Um, it's, it's a great family activity and uh, fairly inexpensive to do. Uh, so take your kids down and support the Cochrane Generals for game three. Now, Monday, we've got a few things going on. Uh, it is a council day. They will be doing the committee of the whole, um, the committee of the whole meeting. And as well, uh, that starts at 530 and you can watch the live stream for that starting at 530 on Cochrane.ca. Um, later that evening, the Cool Choir meets. They meet at St. Andrew's United Church like they do every Monday unless it's a stat holiday. And you don't need any auditions for this one to um, attend the Cool Choir. You just need to bring your singing voice. So don't worry if uh, you just like to sing, but maybe can't sing. Um, you are more than welcome to join the fine folks at the Cool Choir. All right, now I'm just gonna mention a few things that are happening next week because you either need to sign up and register for them in advance or perhaps you need a ticket. So on Tuesday morning, um, now this is really, really fun because since COVID started, the Cochrane Business Network, which was known for their early morning breakfast and networking session um, and learning opportunity, uh, it went virtual for the last two years. So this is really fun. They're gonna have the breakfast, um, like always starting at 7.15. And then um, they have three speakers, I believe on Tuesday morning, who um, are business owners in our community who are going to talk about, let me just pull up the information here for you to see. They're actually going to talk about um, the pivots that they had to do uh, during COVID, um, how, how their business did during that pivot and kind of where they are now. So if uh, you own a business in Cochrane and you want to get in on this event, there is a $10 fee. Um, that was the early bird. I haven't seen if the price has gone up yet, so it might be $15, but it is a great event to get to. Um, this one happens at the Corner Coworking, I believe. Oh no, actually this week it is at ATB, a bank financial I'm just going to, yeah, ATB Cochrane. So uh, that is on Tuesday morning. And like I said, you do need to register for this event. So uh, reach out to the CBN gang and get your ticket right away. Now, later on that day, on Tuesday the 8th, well, actually all day, it, it is International Women's Day, but later on that night, there is an event. There's actually an International Women's Patio Party um, being thrown at Half Hitch Brewery. This is being organized by the uh, Wine, Women, and Wellness of Cochrane Group. Now, this is a ticketed event as well, so you are going to want to reach out and get um, your tickets for this right away. Um, it comes with a drink, it comes with some appetizers, and the chances to win some fun and games. So, reach out uh, about that. It, it's all the information is on our website on how you can get the ticket for that and uh, hit me up for more information if you can't find it for some reason. And heading into later on this week, now Thursday is an, a night to note because if um, the Cochrane Generals uh, require a game five, they get to game five in this round three series, um, they will be back in town 
and playing at 7.45 p.m. next Thursday night. So keep that game on your radar and I will update you if that game goes ahead because they have you know, they need to go ahead and play it um, as the series hasn't been won yet. So that is definitely something to keep an eye out for. And big one here next weekend. We have the Spring Cochrane Farmers Market back in our lives. It will be at the Spray Lake Sawmill Family Recreation Center from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. on March 12th. And um, everybody, that's the first sign we kind of have that spring is on its way and uh, you know we're halfway through March and we're going to make it to the other side of winter. So um, that's something to keep on your radar for next weekend. Now there will be two more dates coming up for this spring market um, on Saturday, April 2nd and the April 23rd I believe is the other date um, if uh, you want that. All right, so that takes us up to the end of next weekend. Now, there are a few events that I didn't actually talk about. They are on Urban Casual. They are on the calendar. So if um, you want to go find out more about that, urbancasual.ca, click that events tab at the top menu, and it will take you to a calendar where you can view it um, by the day, by the week, or by the month. And even better yet, if you are having a Cochrane event, you can submit your event for free right on that calendar. And you don't have to sign up or register or anything to do so. You just click that green button, submit, and um, I will get that on the calendar for you right away. Um, now, if your event finds its way onto our calendar, we will talk about it in this broadcast on Thursday afternoons and help the people of Cochrane get to know more about it. Now, one last event that I want to uh, hook you up with, because it is also a ticketed event, and this one is coming up quickly, but Gord Bamford, Gord Bamford is going to be playing at the Lions Event Center on um, April 8th, and all of the money goes to support the Boys and Girls Club in Cochrane. So if you like Gord Bamford, or if you don't, you just want to support um, this fine children's organization in town, uh, this is a great thing to go buy a ticket for. So April 8th, um, Gord Bamford will be at the Lions Event Center. I will be on the bar that night, so I hope to see you there, and um, maybe I can make you a drink. But definitely go uh, grab a ticket for that event. All right. Now I'm just going to make sure that there aren't any other events that I wanted to mention that coming up. Yes, there is one more actually, and it is also next Saturday. So the same day as the spring farmer's market, um, the Cochrane virtual job fair is from 1130 AM until 1 PM. Oh, that's the other way around 11 AM to 1 30 PM. Now it is virtual. So there is a link for this on our website and you'll want to just go, uh, check out the details for that. If you're looking for a job or if you're thinking about, um, learning more about the different organizations in town, um, or if you're thinking about making a job switch, then you should go check that out. Um, but that is it for this week, Cochrane. I am Samantha from Urban Casual, and if you have something that you would like the people of Cochrane to know, reach out to me and I will help you share the word. And um, yeah, I will be back next Thursday um, with another edition of the Cochrane Events and Community News for your Thursday afternoon. See you next week, Cochrane. Mm -hmm.